Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add indicators, overlays, and drawing tools to your charts on Optimus Flow. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, indicators, overlays, and drawing tools are available on pretty much all the versions of Optimus Flow. You'll need to access these by opening up a chart or the advanced TPO charts. All of these are available on both versions of these charts. That being said, to access overlays, indicators, and drawing tools, you'll need to head up to the top left-hand corner of the platform, and everything is located on the left-hand side in this toolbar that runs vertically along the left-hand side of your chart. You'll notice this is in a side panel here. Now, by default, this should be activated. If it's not, you will see the option here that I'm currently hovering over. This is to show or hide the objects toolbar. You'll see that's located directly to the left of our symbol search box. So just left click to activate that or deactivate that as needed. Now from there, working our way down, the first button here is add indicator. So this is gonna allow us to, of course, add an indicator to our chart. And there's several different types of indicators or several different categories that indicators fall into under this platform. We have bars data, channels, moving averages, oscillators, trend, volatility, and volume. Now we don't have the time to go through every indicator on this platform. Feel free to pause as needed to see what is available on Optimus Flow. Keep in mind that none of these are essentially set in stone and what I mean by that is we'll be adding new indicators and features over the course of the platform's lifespan. So just keep in mind, you may see changes here um, and new additions as well. So as you can see, each section can be expanded or contracted and you can add as needed. If there's nothing you see here and or maybe you just missed it, you can also use a search bar at the top of the page to pretty much just search for what you want. So we can type in moving average here and we can find everything associated with the moving average. Um, so pretty much all you need to do is just double left click on the indicator or you know whatever indicator you want to add to your chart here. Let's say for example, we want to add a simple moving average. Again, we'll just double left click on that option. This will open up settings first, and this is pretty much gonna be standard no matter in which indicator you're working with. Now each indicator will have its own parameters and different settings that can be configured within that indicator, but it will always open up settings beforehand. So it'll go ahead and add it. You can adjust the period type, the source, the position on the chart. Right now, as you can see in the background, it's over the chart. You can also adjust it to be in the chart background if it's you know getting in front of your chart there, or you can have it so it's considered in its own sub window. Now you'll notice that by default, some indicators by default are added to a sub window and that will be put on the bottom section of the chart. When it's in a sub window, you can adjust accordingly and move up or down. Now you'll notice when I did click off of our settings bar or box, we did lose it. Just for future reference, if you need to access your indicator settings at any time, head down to the bottom left-hand corner, click on the object manager. That's a symbol right above my Windows box right here, the Windows Start button. Just click on that object manager. It'll show everything that's on your chart, so both indicators, overlays, and drawing tools. You, then from there, you'll just wanna click on indicator settings, which is a cogwheel. You can also clear out all by using the clear all button or delete specific indicators by clicking on the trash can icon associated to the right of them. You can also remove indicators, overlays, and drawing tools above your object manager button. You'll see there's this uh, trash can icon again. This will allow you to just pretty much, it's an ease of access button to remove each corresponding um, you know, overlay or indicator drawing type on this chart. So right now we only have an indicator. I can remove that. If I had an overlay, I could remove that independently. Same thing with drawing tool, or I could remove everything at once. Keep in mind, you can also right click on your chart, access your object manager from here. You can also mess around with overlays, indicators, and drawing tools from here as well. Um, continuing on now, the next thing is an overlay. An overlay will essentially put two different price actions on one chart. So for example, 
right now i have the es in the background now this might not be technically accurate in any way so don't quote me on this but let's say for example i wanted to compare the nasdaq to the e-mini smp for technical analysis if i wanted to i could actually put both price graphs on there all i need to do is of course click the add overlay button find my symbol so i'll go to nq and i'll use the front month double click choose the style the price scaling and you can have it on its own scale or you can you know have the scale based off of the main price graph use the data type and then the line type once you have everything configured correctly go ahead and click apply and now we can compare the nq which is on my line graph here to the es which is the candlesticks of course so now as you can see we have two different price actions that we can use to compare so this could be helpful in multiple ways and of course everybody's going to have their own personal preference for example maybe one price graph you would like to have for one contract month and one then one for the other so you could do the march and september contracts of the e-mini smp it all comes down to personal preference but the feature is there and you're more than welcome to utilize it just to show you now how we can remove it efficiently come down to the remove all chart objects button here we can remove an indicator or an overlay then we can remove the indicator now we're working with a fresh chart continuing on the next feature down is going to be add alert this will allow you to add an alert on your chart at a specific price level not going to dive into that in this video we'll leave that for a separate video because it does have a configuration of its own but just keep that in mind Next up, we do have our drawing tools here. That's going to be the pencil icon. If we left click on that, you'll see all the drawing tools available to us here. So we have trend lines and things like that. You can manually draw geometry such as triangles and rectangles, Fibonacci, GAN, patterns, and then others such as rulers or three triangle patterns, flag markers, up and down arrows. It's quite simple. All you need to do is find your drawing tool, click on it. Once it's clicked, it'll become active. So we can go ahead and click on the price level. We want to start our Fibonacci retracement and then click on the next price level. And you can see there we have all our Fibonacci price levels. Of course, as always, you can just come down to the object manager and then click on remove. Of course, each drawing tool is going to have its own pretty much configuration and customization options associated with it. But once it's activated, you can go ahead and left click to start the initial drawing and then left click again to act, end it. You'll notice that when you do activate a drawing tool or draw on your chart, it will open up this uh, customization menu at the, at the bottom here. This will allow you to lock it or adjust overlays. You can customize colors, as you can see here. We can change the, the line type. We can change the um, point or the, I guess, the width of the line. A couple other options here allow it to move it onto multiple windows or multiple charts. Again, you can lock it, come into settings to move it to the background, lock the location. This is pretty much the same settings that we've seen at the bottom here, just pretty much fully displaying them. And then, of course, you can remove it as well. Continuing on here, here's just a simple horizontal line. And then everything pretty much else that's added down at the bottom here, underneath drawing tools, you'll notice these are pretty much just favorites. So by default, it's gonna be horizontal. Um, let's just see here, we have um, a regular line, excuse me, a price channel, a rectangle, and then Fibonacci retracements. Now you'll notice to the right of each drawing tool, you have the option to click on this star here. This will pretty much favorite it, so just keep an eye on it. As you can see, I have a line arrow. I left click on the star, and then my line arrow symbol or drawing tool is added right here. So again, just everything underneath the drawing tools, you'll see there's a slight dark bar here. This just shows all your favorite drawing tools. So if you are one to technically, you know, perform technical analysis on your chart, and do utilize a lot of drawing tools, you might wanna to go ahead and favorite each drawing tool as needed. 
that's going to wrap it up for this video. This should give you a general idea of how to work with different indicators, overlays, and drawing tools. Like I said, we can't get into every single drawing tool or indicator on the platform. It would just take too long. If you do have any questions on those, please visit our community forum. It's going to be in the description down below, and you can ask questions on specific you know, indicators or drawing tools if you have them. If you want to try a demo of Optimus Flow, the link is down in the description as well. It's a free demo and it comes along with a 14 day rhythmic trial. So you're more than welcome to test it out. As I said, any comments, questions or certain concerns, please head over to the community forum. We'll answer your questions there. And as always, thanks for watching.